So let's talk about syntax. Google defines syntax as the arrangement of words and phrases to create well-formed sentences in a language. And I'll just give you an aside here if you uh, aren't familiar with this. Google actually, you can use it to uh, define words. If you just simply Google define and then the word, it'll actually give you a definition. And what's actually kind of cool about it, if you look for more information, you can look at the origin of the word as well as the usage over time, which in this case is actually pretty interesting because you can see with the advent of commu computing in the 1960s and on up to the present day, there's a drastic increase in the, no the amount of usage of this word syntax, uh, which should tell you something. Um, but getting back to our, our topic, um, in the English language, if I say something like dog green ball, okay, you're going to look at this and say, that doesn't make any sense because you know syntactically that there needs to be a verb in this sentence. Okay, it's not a well-formed sentence. If I instead say dog chases green ball, it's not the best of sentences, but you certainly can make sense of it because of the fact that it has uh, nouns, it has a verb, it has an adjective, as where the previous sentence you knew that a verb was missing. Two two nouns and an adjective isn't going to form a, a a sentence that makes sense syntactically. Um, but if we move on to um, if we move on to code, okay, there's characters that we use in code that are not typically used in the English language, or they're not used as often in the English language as they're used in code to designate different syntax structures. Okay, uh, probably the most important of these is the semicolon. The semicolon in processing is used to designate the end of the line. You can think of it as kind of the period at the end of the sentence. The period lets us know that we've gotten to the end of what we were going to say in that sentence. The semicolon lets us know that we're at the end of that command. Okay, and if it's missing, processing is going to think that there's actually an error with the sentence. Okay. Um, some other things that are used a little more often are these uh, these open and close uh, characters. Okay, I'm trying to think of a general broad term for these. Uh, characters works, right? Um, parentheses. Uh, we have the open parentheses as at the beginning of the of what we're going to put there, and the closed parentheses at the end of what we're going to put in within the parentheses. Those are typically used for variables uh, or parameters that are, that are going into a method or a function. Uh, the arguments is another way to put that. Uh, so you'll hear me talk about arguments or parameters uh, for a method or a function. That's that's what goes inside the parentheses. Um, curly brackets or sometimes uh, curly braces, depending on which uh, geographic location you're coming from. Uh, these are used to designate blocks of code. You can think of what's inside the curly braces as being kind of like the paragraph structures uh, of uh, code. Um, so that, that those actually are definitely uh, the, more common in code than there are in the English uh, language usage. And then square brackets, we're going to get to those a little bit later when we get to arrays. You won't find those uh, for the first couple of lessons, but when we start using arrays, you'll see square brackets quite often. Okay. Uh, in addition, we've got slashes. Slashes get used very differently in code than they do in, in English. Um, two forward slashes lets you know that you have a, a comment on that line, um, and as soon as you hit a return to go to the next line, it's going to uh, end the comment. Uh, you, there's another way to use comments, uh, another set of characters that you can use for comments, and that's the slash asterisk, and then the asterisk slash. You can think of this as kind of the open and close uh, parentheses open and close curly break brackets it's just that it has to be two characters in order to open and close the comment and what you can do then once you're inside those comments is they can actually exist over multiple lines um, we're finding out here that black blackboard tends to eat the double forward slash uh, comments and, and and render them incorrectly when you're copying and pasting your code into the the text editor so you might want to f favor these uh, s this slash asterisk asterisk slash uh, syntax for comments because it'll it'd be a little bit more portable as you're copying and pasting code into Blackboard. So looking at my code example here, you'll see a couple of examples of this. Uh, the first and foremost is the semicolon. Okay, if I delete any one of these, what will happen when I try to run my sketch is I'll get this error at the bottom. It says, see how it says syntax error? Okay, that's basically what processing is telling you is that I don't understand what you've written because it doesn't follow the rules that I that I follow for for code okay so I actually need to put that semicolon back in there and try to run my code and then I'll get my uh, my self portrait that I did for the first assignment here okay um, 
But looking through a couple of other items besides semicolons, we've got this open and close parentheses. And you'll see that when you highlight one, the open part of the parentheses, processing actually puts a box around the closed one so you can see where the end of your open and close pair is. This can be really handy for troubleshooting if you maybe missed one along the way. Okay. Uh, in addition, we've got our curly brace up here at the top at the beginning of our setup command. And it comes down here at the bottom. You see at the end here. Okay, the close uh, curly brace, um, and you can think of curly braces. Uh, this again uh, say blocks off a, a a block of code, uh, and you can think of blocks of code as being kind of like paragraphs. They're groups of uh, commands, just like a paragraph is a group of sentences. Um, and then in addition to that, we've got our comments along the way here. This slash asterisk and the asterisk slash. Um, those. Uh, pairings actually set off uh, code, uh, set off lines and text as being comments. Comments are just simply notes to yourself and you want to get in the ha habit of uh, having lots of comments along the way and letting you know what your code is doing because it'll make it easier for you to come back to your code, it'll make it easier for your professor to decipher your code um, and it's just one example of how uh, syntax is important. So hopefully this gives you a little bit uh, of guidance along the way in terms of how to how to follow the syntax of your code.